Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Paatshala. I am Rimal Preet Kaur, Assistant Professor, Khalsa College of Education, Ranjit Avenue, Amritsar. Today we are going to discuss about need and importance of research in educational administration. At the end of this unit, learners will be able to know the meaning of education, administration and educational administration. Grasp the meaning of basic research and its importance. Discuss the need to conduct research in the field of educational administration. Build the understanding of need and importance for research within the administration of school education. Identify the areas of research in educational administration. Students, before understanding the need and importance of research in educational administration, let us know what is educational administration and its importance. It consists of two words, education and administration, where education means the process of facilitating learning or the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, beliefs and habits. The administration refers to the group of individuals who are in charge of creating and enforcing rules and regulations or those in the leadership positions who complete important tasks. An example of administration is the president of any country and the individuals he appoints to support him. So, educational administration is a discipline within the study of education that examines the administrative theory and practice of education in general and educational institutions and educators in particular. The field identify distinguishes itself from administration and management through its adherence to guiding principles of educational philosophy. The unique purpose of administration is to direct the utilization of limited resources of time, people, space, equipment supplies, work technique in the realization of coherent operation of an enterprise. It involves activities and processes which require specialization of effort and sophistication in use. These have been very frequently identified as activities which include planning, programming, budgeting, staffing, evaluating and processes as leadership, organization, communication and coordination. Some additional attributes are added such as human relationship, cooperation, logical positivism and staff morale. It encompasses whatever and wherever education is administered, whether it is at the level of an educational institution of an organization controlling several of the same or different types of educational organizations, or whether it is for small or bigger geographical units, and whether the management consists of an individual or individuals involving a private or semi-government or government agency. For effective administration, education administrators are employed in universities, colleges, schools, preschools and daycare centers. They manage routine activities and provide instructional leadership at these institutions. They may also be employed at businesses, museums, correctional facilities and community service organizations to direct their educational programs. Now the question arises, what educational administration do or what are its responsibilities? Well, number one, handles relations with the parents, students, employers and the community. Number two, manages the budgets and ensuring financial systems are followed, overseeing, record keeping, managing student services such as guidance program training, supervising and motivating faculty including teachers and auxiliary staff. Next, working on committees including academic boards, governing bodies and task groups. 
Number four, assists in recruitment, public or alumni relations and marketing activities. Number five, provides administrative support to an academic team of lecturers, tutors or teachers. Number six, deals with the drafting and interpreting regulations and also with queries and complaints procedures. Number seven, helps in maintaining high level of quality assurance including course evaluation and course approval procedures. Next, contributes to policy and planning. Helps in purchasing goods and equipment as required and processing invoices. Maintains a healthy communication with the partner institutions, other institutions, external agencies, the government departments and the prospective students. Last but not the least, it organizes and facilitates a variety of educational or social activities. Now come to the word research. The word research is quite familiar. You must have heard about this somewhere. So what is research basically and what does it signify? Well, in simple words, research is a combination of two words that is re plus search which means the repetition of search. It means a search for facts, answers to questions and solutions to problems. Research comprises creative work undertaken on a systematic basis in order to increase the stock of knowledge including knowledge of humans, culture and society and the use of this stock of knowledge to devise new applications. It is used to establish or confirm facts, reaffirm the results of previous work, solve new or existing problems, spot theorems or develop new theories. A research project may also be an expansion on past work in the field to test the validity of instruments, procedures or experiments. Research may replicate elements of prior projects or the project as a whole. The primary purposes of basic research are documentation, discovery, interpretation or the research and development of methods and systems for the advancement of human knowledge. There are various reasons by which a research can happen like passion to know new things due to job requirements, raising standard of living, for a safer life, to know the truth, to bring changes, explore our history, etc. Most of the organizations hire some of their employees to conduct either operational research which focus on ongoing programs and business operations or strategic research which concentrates on the issues of long-term goals and strategies. Now come to research in educational administration. There has long been a need for the development of research related to problems of educational administration but until recently most departments giving instruction in that had almost no capability for conducting or supervising research. The need to stimulate research has long been recognized by professors of educational administration and therefore one important step taken by them to meet this need was formation of the University Council for Educational Administration. This organization has done much to stimulate interest in educational research in the field of administration. But have you thought once what is the need of research in educational administration? Let me tell you. The promotion of research on problems of educational administration is a far larger problem than willing to do research or finding competent research workers in the area. For even among research workers willing to do research in the area, 
considerable differences exist concerning how one should go about conducting such researches. However, the primary need of research and educational administration is to bring efficiency in the school administration and thus helping for the betterment of educational standards. Let us discuss the various points highlighting the need to conduct a research in the field of educational administration. Research in educational administration is essential as it would enable educationists and educational administration to plan effective developmental programs to modify the administ administrative pattern and organizational structures in accordance with the changing needs and demands of the society. Constant research endeavors and appraisals are essential to help further reorganization and improvement. Second, the present decade has been categorized by a flow of literature taking the position but more precisely for formulated theories of educational administration are needed before research can be conducted. So there is a need to conduct research so that more precise theories concerning educational administration can be developed. According to Travers, theories have to be based on the kind of substantial knowledge that is derived from the research, although one cannot expect to derive a theory of administration from the kind of research that has typically been pursued. It has tended to be focused on specific and local problems. There is still the possibility that the ideas on which a theory of administration may be based can be derived from the research in social psychology and sociology. Certainly, business management has drawn knowledge from such fields in order to develop theories of management. The impact of social psychology and sociology on business management has been for greater than on school administration, perhaps because business has been so highly dependent on research for many aspects of its development. Third, there is a need to conduct research so that alternative instruments for studying administrative behavior can be constructed. The future enrollments in schools and a consequent increase in the number and size of schools demand well-qualified leaders as headmasters, principals, inspectors and other officials. There is a need to conduct research so that appropriate ways in the form of standardized tools to the already existing resources for identifying, preparing and guiding educational leaders in the country can be devised. This will help in choosing the right kind of leadership in all fields who are capable of facing new tasks of education in changing India. There is a need to evolve proper courses and methods for training educational leadership. There is need to conduct research so that teacher education programs can be reoriented to the new national tasks beginning with the country's independence. Moreover, nowadays we have to deal with schools which have diversified curriculum, children with varied backgrounds and the community around schools which is literate, intelligent and sensitive to their rights and obligations. The emphasis is not merely on formal training but on practical knowledge creative philosophy and citizenship training. Under this kind of educational revolution in India, will the graduate training institutions be able to face new challenges? Are their programs and courses adequate for the preparation of the future educational administrations and leaders? The answer is big no. So, there is a need to conduct teachers too find out the adequacy of the programs being run by present teacher education institutions. Second, reorient the present programs according to new national tasks. Third, evolve proper courses and methods for training educational leadership. The next important need is also to conduct empirical studies related to India's environment and culture.
Next important reason is that studies in the field of job analysis, administrative role, leadership behavior, performance, decision making, power structure, group dynamics, etc. need to be conducted. Moreover, the research available in the field of educational administration is either descriptive or historical. It is based only on empirical evidences collected through questionnaires and interviews. The scientific method of incorporating a hypothesis or a theory is absent. So there is a need to conduct research in this field, a systematic manner right from the level of locating the problem of research till its solution. Not only this, even the researches conducted in the field concentrate only on school administration and exclude university administration, so there is need to conduct research in college and university administration. The findings of the researchers will provide significant insights for local level administrators whose areas are studied. Another important point in that there is need to conduct studies to know how much of feedback reaches such administrations. Still, another need is to conduct action research and do lot of experimentation so that required changes could be brought about. Next, there is a need to conduct in-depth studies with respect to planning administration, especially a large educational institutions, including universities, the studies should have greater dependence on data collected from direct primary sources rather than using any secondary data. Moreover, researchers should use multiple techniques and methods in order to get a better, deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the issues and factors involved. So, in nutshell, there is a need to conduct research in the field of educational administration Number one, to establish standards of educational administration and ensuring efficient performance. Number two, to standardize methods of work. Number three, to take decisions or solve problems and reduce interpersonal, intergroup or interdepartmental conflicts. Number four, to improve existing situations. Number five, to meet the challenge of time. Number six, to prepare standardized tools. Number seventh is to provide opportunities for individual members to realize their individual capabilities of growth and enjoy both social need and job satisfaction. So we can say there is a need to conduct research with the scientific approach in the field of education in general and for school administration in particular on the problems like Role analysis of educational administrators at different levels. Comparisons of roles of administrators in education, business government and other social institutions. Studies in values and attitudes of educational administration. Case studies of administrators in education. Finding impact of specialized training on administration behavior. Test for measuring mental health and aptitude of education administrators. Criteria for selection, recruitment and appointment of educational administrators to various specialized jobs. Influences of culture on administrative behavior. Measuring impact of physical facilities, working conditions, administrative behavior, efficiency and success. Studies in morale of educational administrators, democratic values and appropriate administrative leadership education, forms of organization, methods of control and their impact on educational administrators. Studies could, could also be done on group dynamics and its impact on administrative behavior, community power structure, internal politics, informal and normal groups and their influence on educational administrators, administrators personal philosophy and its impact on his administrative behavior, analysis of administrative process suited to educational system, 
studies in decision making process in education, departments, schools, colleges and universities. Factors or criteria of effective decision making in education. Effective planning by educational administrators. Forms of organization, organizational structure, hierarchy and their impact on administration of education. Delegation of authority and responsibility in education administration and their impact. Significance of communication in effective educational administration. Studies in the use of community resources by educational administrators at various levels. Studies in staff relation maintained by administrator within their institutions. Measures for evaluating the outcomes and returns of educational administration. Studies in problems and difficulties faced by the departments of education, inspectors, headmasters and managements. Studies in supervisory and inspection procedures in education. Studies in the administration of teacher welfare programs. Administration of medical inspection and remedial programs. Studies in morale of subordinates working under education administrators. Studies in coordination among different administrative units involved in education. Analyzing concepts like educational administration, supervision, school management, administrative behavior, human relations and so on. Historical studies in the development of education, administration at various levels. Last but not the least, documentary analysis of administrative policies, laws, codes with the reference to education and its development. So these were some of the problems or areas to be studied under research concerning educational administration. At the end, we can conclude that educational administration is regarded as a dynamic, ever-changing and ever-expanding process in which new developments take place continuously depending upon the changing needs of the nation. The dawn of the realization of the importance of educational administration as potential subject of study and research is now breaking on the horizon of Indian educational scene with professors, researchers and postgraduate students involving in the field vigorously. So this was all about need and importance of research in educational administration. Thank you.